Welcome to Quick Team Building Activities. You bring the team, we bring the games. Today's focus, virtual. The focus for today's video, five virtual Zoom or team building activities. Let's have fun. Game one, what's missing? Today's purpose. Today's game is for fun and visual skills. Please make sure to be energetic and have fun. For this game, you just need movable items on your person or in the environment. No other materials are needed other than the laptop and the internet. Total time needed for this game is roughly 10 minutes. However, if you choose to extend the game by adding more activities and or playing more rounds, you can do so as well. Step one in this game is make sure the team looks at you closely by telling them, please make sure to watch and see what's in the environment before I leave. Step two, leave the room and or turn off your camera. Keep it engaging and fun and use a timer or other props to help keep the engagement high. When you return, have the team decide what has changed. Do this a few times, each time make it harder. Once again, keep it fun and keep it engaging. A follow up question could be, did it take a lot of concentration? Did we have fun? Or does anyone want to try next? Game two, no I, in team. The purpose of this game is to have fun and to practice clear communication. No materials are needed for this game other than the Zoom account and or links where people can go and participate in chat. Time needed 10 to 20 minutes. Step one in the process would be to divide teams into individual groups. Zoom has the function to individually break out teams, or if you use a Google Hangouts, you can use individual links that you've created where individuals can go into. The next step, one person should be chosen as the talker and the rest of the group should be chosen to listen. The talker should talk two minutes straight without stopping. Step three, the talker cannot use the I word at any time. If they do, the listeners must raise their hands and the session ends. Then they choose another person or reverse role. The group that can get to two minutes the most times wins. Step four for the follow-up. So questions that you ask are, what did you learn about one another? Was anyone embarrassed? And did you have fun? Game three, two truths and one lie. A classic, classic game. The purpose of this game is to have fun and to practice clear communication. No materials are needed for this game other than the Zoom account and or links where people can go and participate in chat. Time needed, 10 minutes. Step one, break out into groups and or ask individuals to jot down five facts and three lies about themselves. Now there are a couple ways you can do this. One, you can do it by breaking down into smaller groups or you can just have a large group session where you select one person or multiple people to share two truths and one lie. Now there are a couple ways you can do this. One, you can ask the groups to call out the information as it comes out or you can have the group members just type it in chat. Now, game four, I spy. The purpose of this game is having fun, communication, and visual skills. No materials are needed for this game other than the Zoom account and or links where people can go and participate in chat. Time needed, 10 minutes. Step one, take a, make sure you take an opportunity to scan through the chat and look for things in the environment, either on someone's person or in the background and make a note of it. The next step in this process is gonna be pretty fun. What you do is basically start saying, I spy someone with a weird plan, or I spy someone with a unique sweater, and allow the group members to call out which person is the person with that item. And for our last game, Hidden Talents. The purpose of today's game is having fun, communication, and funny hidden talents. 
no materials are needed for this game other than the Zoom account and or links where people can go and participate in chat. Time needed, 10 minutes. Okay, so for this section, what you would do is you would want to make sure that you're showing off a unique talent that you may have, whether it's drawing or singing or something unique. And then you want to make sure that you select one or two individuals to share off their talent. You may want to pre-select some people in advance. And there you go. Five virtual Zoom or team building activities for your next event or team building activity. As we always say, keep it fun, keep it engaging, keep it lively. Lastly, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more activities like this. Also, put your notifications on because we post consistently.